वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक्स गाइज इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव टॉक अबाउट बार प्लॉट्स दट वॉट आर बार प्लॉट्स एंड अगेन वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक फंक्शन विच आर रिलेटेड टू द प्लॉट्स इन आर टूडे सेशन वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्केटर प्लॉट सो गाइज स्केटर प्लॉट जस्ट लाइक हाउ द नेम इज सींग स्केटर मी द डेटा विल बी स्केटर्ड ओवर हियर थ्रू आउट द प्लॉट लाइक इन द एक्स एक्सिस दी वाई एक्सिस अलॉन्ग दी एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस द डेटा विल बी स्केटर्ड ओवर हियर लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन हाउ अर स्केटर प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक सो दिस इज हाउ अर स्केटर प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक सो वी हैव स्केटर्ड डेटा ओवर हियर यू कैन सी इट्स इन डिफरेंट साइजेस डिफरेंट शेप्स डिफरेंट कलर्स ओके सो वी विल बी लर्निंग दट हाउ वी कैन प्लॉट दिस काइंड ऑफ अ प्लॉट लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन हाउ वी कैन प्लॉट अ स्केटर प्लॉट टू प्लॉट अ स्केटर प्लॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स इम्पोर्ट मैट प्लॉट lib dot pi plot as plt after that we let's import numpy as np once we have imported both of them the next thing that we need to do over here is create the x axis and the y axis for the x axis let's take the value as so i'll be taking it in a format of np dot array and here i'll be passing elements uh, like 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 comma 60 comma 70 comma 80 comma 90 comma 100 that means 10 values i'm passing over here similarly in y we have np dot array and we can pass values according to us so again in the square brackets i will be passing 10 comma 40 comma 30 comma 20 comma 50 comma 40 comma 50 comma 80 comma 50 comma 40 yeah, i guess this is going to be five and this is 10 values over here once we have got these 10 values here uh, after 40 we need to close the square brackets and the parentheses and once we have got these values we need to plot the scatter plot for that we will be writing plot dot scatter and here we will be passing x comma y axis and let's write plt dot show so this is will be the basic plot over here let's run and see what output we will get over here so this is how the output looks like so on uh, x axis we have 20 40 60 80 and 100 as values and on y axis we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 up to 80 as values over here and the uh, plots are plotted like this that the first plot over here uh, is on 10 and 10 so 10 and 10 is over here that's why it's here the second plot over here is 20 and 40 so on x axis it's 20 on y axis it's 40 so one dot is over here the third plot over here is 30 30 that means 30 is somewhere here and over here it's 30 is over here right okay, this is how all the plots have been plotted over here now this is a basic scatter plot now here you can provide with different things for example you can pass a color here that you want to give any one color let's say i want to give a uh, blue is already there but i want to give green so you can give green color over here similarly if you want to give a marker so we have learned about marker in our previous session that how we can change the shape shape of these markers right now they are circular and if you want to shape if you want to give it any other shape for example if i want to give it a star we can create a star markers over here similarly if you want to create in a diamond shape we can give capital d which would create a diamond shape marker similarly we have small s for squares so we can create square like patterns over here this is how we can give uh, different kinds of markers here okay Once we have created markers, we can give the edges as well. So we can write M E C that the marker edge color would be over here. Let's say it's of red color. And if I run it, it would give a red color to the markers. Similarly, uh, if this is right now one kind of a marker, suppose if you want a scatter data of two types over here, for example, let's say I'll just take the data from here up to X. I'll take the data. and for y will define it so i'll just copy this data till from here and after this we will paste this data here and this is our x axis for uh, y for y we have two data one is for women so women is equals to np dot array and i'll be creating a list over here so we'll be having let's say 67 comma 84 comma 93 comma 20 comma 40 comma 30 comma 17 comma 40 comma 50 and this is how we will have 9 and lastly the 10th data over here and similarly we'll add for men as well so men is equals to np dot array and i'll be taking the random values over here so you don't need to be careful about the values if you're talking about this random data here but okay if you're working on some uh, data then obviously you'll take the data which is there with you so so right now i can just fill any data over here comma 30 comma 20 comma 47 comma comma 23 comma 45 comma 27 this is the data that we have provided now if i want to create a kind of a plot we'll be writing plot dot scatter and here we can pass x and in the y axis we can pass women similarly again we'll be writing plt dot scatter here i can give x and in the y axis i can give a uh, men and plt dot show let's have a look on what kind of plot we will receive over here so we have received a plot which has two kinds of data where we have a data in blue color and also a data in orange color but what is what we don't know right for that let's define the colors here so color is equals to that should be given inside the double quotations and 
over here for men i'll be giving color is equals to green okay let's yarn and see see right now it is red and green but still we don't know what is what so for that let's write the legend over here so plt dot legend and here i'll be passing the list for uh, women the first one is women and the second one over here is men now if i run it so red dots over here shows that this is for women the green dot shows for men if you want to change the markers for each of them you can change the marker as well by writing marker is equals to and let's say this one uh, uh women's marker would be a of, let's say the circular only or you can keep them as star and the men's marker is of triangular in shape so i'll write marker is equals to and i will pass the symbol of circumflex and this is how it looks like so you can give different um markers as well so this is how you can create um for men and women similarly if i talk about this data over again and i'll just copy this whole data from here to here and just remove some changes just like just make some changes over here for example i'll just remove these things i'll just as of now i'll just keep this and if i run it this is how it looks like now if i want to give different colors to it i will be creating a list called a c inside this i can pass different colors for example red and then we have a uh, blue then we have green then we have orange and because we want to fill uh, let's say 10 colors over here so it's fun part for me so magenta i give hot pink we have violet we also have indigo so i guess these are all 10 of them yeah and what we can do over here over here in the color we can pass c so if i run it okay i'll be writing colors now what i'll be doing over here let's make it colors instead of uh color uh, c and over here i'll be passing c is equals to colors and uh, now as soon as we run it uh something is wrong over here what is wrong let's have a look okay we have nine elements over here so add let's add one more color and we have cyan okay so this is how we have plotted a plot with different colors as well so you can give the different colors and if you don't want to define all the colors suppose if you have heaps of data if you have let's say 20 30 or maybe hundreds of data in that case you're not going to write a hundred colors over here similarly let's do one thing again let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt also let's import numpy as np once we have imported both of them let's get the values uh, so i'll just get both these values from here okay so I'll just paste it here for the colors. Now what I'll do again for the colors also I'll be writing colors is equals to and I'll be writing np dot array and I'll be passing the values like 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 comma 60 comma 70 comma 80 comma 90 comma 100 because we have 10 values and after this what i'll be doing i'll be again creating a scatter plot but uh, you must be confused at what i'm doing just have patience and see like trust the process so scatter plot and we have x comma y comma colors c is equals to colors okay and this is c is equals to colors so but these are not colors so we'll get a c map over here now what is c map c map is equals to let me just write any over here if i run it it will throw me an error and uh, in this error what would happen uh, here we will get a list of colors different colors that we have over here so you can go for any of them like for example we have uh, wait, this looks nice that we have just rainbow okay let's just copy this from here and go back to our code and over here instead of any now let's put double quotation and paste this value and if i run it you will now see we, we are getting different colors over here so rainbow colors basically these are the colors of the rainbow similarly we have one more called as gnbu so if i write this this is how the colors come over here and we also have viridis so these are some of them which i am aware of so this is how viridis looks like and we have spring as well so this is how the spring looks like okay so uh, we have spring now uh, we don't know like right now we can see different colors over here but uh, we don't know about their intensity that what is showing what intensity so if you want to see a color bar over here which shows the intensity that which color is on high intensity which is color is on low number like which color is on high scale and which color is on low scale in that case what you can do you can write plt dot color bar open close the parentheses we can write plt dot show open close the parentheses as soon as we run it we will get a color bar over here which will tell 
tell is that when, uh, when a color is on uh, when the color is on dark pink side that means it is some the value is somewhere around 10 20 30 if it is uh, somewhere between darker yellows yellow side and then the values is somewhere between you know 100 or something okay so this is how you can get the values over here as well similarly you can define the different sizes as well so i will give sizes is equals to an np dot array and here you can pass different sizes for example 20 comma 30 comma 10 comma 20 40 comma 30 comma 20 comma 30 comma 20 comma 40 comma 50 comma 60 and i guess now we have 10 we have one extra value okay and we can give s is equals to sizes and as soon as we run it you can see we are getting them in different different sizes over here some are, some dots are very small some dots are very large comparatively and if i give the larger sizes the larger like for example i'll give in the range of 80 comma 50 comma uh, 70 comma 68 comma 90 comma 60 comma 100 comma 30 comma 60 comma 100 so we have like uh, 10 of them let's run and see so now you can see the sizes over here have increased so you can change the sizes also according to yourself plus you can give the L values in alpha as well so uh, if you want to so if you remember in our last session we talked about this alpha function which increases or decreases the transparency of anything so right now we have completely solid dots and if you want to make them a bit transparent in that case you can just write 0 0.5 over here as soon as we run it, we'll get uh, the output which looks like this, that we have a little transparent over here. So the values over here are a little transparent, but the whole bar is basically a little transparent over here. So this co completely works on our alpha. Similarly, as we have learned in our previous session, we can give the X labels, Y labels, we can give the X ticks, Y ticks, we can give the whole title over here, we can define the legend over here. So all these things we can do, uh, so that we, which we have already discussed in our previous session, so I'm not going to discuss them all over again. So I hope guys that the scatter plot over here is clear to you that how we have created a scatter plot how we can plot different kinds of scatter plots inside one plot like we can create different markers which would define the different different values so that it will be easy for us to compare how the color mapping works how we can you know show the color bar over here how different what are the different kinds of color maps that we have over here and uh, if i put uh, like viridis over here so if you want to see that how the color bar of viridis looks like we can show i can show you that as well and let's remove the alpha because i don't want you to see it as transparent so if i run it this is how it looks like so we can get different different uh, of them all you need to do is instead if you don't want if you don't know what all color maps are there in that case just write any over there and it will throw you an error and it will give you a whole list of all the values that could come in the place of color map so i hope guys that this scatter plot over here is clear to you in our next session we'll be talking about line plots so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you